Because what I'm going to show you today is how to make and tape is so sticky. An at home hazmat tape. But it's not a hazmat tape. It's actually a dance spacesuit. Now, I think safety should be easy. Like, I'm going to tell you once, I'm going to tell you twice, but by the fourth time you'll remember it. That's kind of easy that I'm talking about. And I like science. So if you have plastic bags, and you have tape, it doesn't have to be green, it just has to be sticky. And scissors, preferably small, and you don't ever over hold them. That was in it. I was showing you what not to do. You should always hold them like a that. Cut that strangely. Um, so what you want to do is you want to take your plastic bag. Now this is a shopping bag. Unless you're a giant, this should work. If you're a giant, use a big black garbage bag. So you want to do the arms. And how you want to do, I just start with your arms. And then the body. And depending on how many people you're going to be around, you can also do the head. Now for the purpose of extreme situations, I will also try the head. Okay. It's ready to rock. Now. Take this plastic bag and I want you to go and punch your way through it, like punching through, punching through, just like punching through something. And normally, I just, there you go. And you make a hole and you want this to cover yourself. Now, the good thing is that I always wear my vest because I know that it's protection and it also helps me be visible no matter what time of day it is. Once I get the bag over my arm, I'm going to fasten it to my waterproof vest. Now, if you have a lot of bags and a lot of tape, you don't have to wear a vest. You can even cover yourself head to toe in bags. I do not have that kind of time right now. So taping it, that's what I'm using. So I'm going to tape this part of the bag to the top part of my arm, and then I'm going to tape the second part of the bag to the other part of my body where my arm still moves because this is going to turn into a dance suit. So we have tape here, tape here. That's one part of the arm. Now we're going to take another one. The bags don't have to match. These ones have to be the same color, but they don't have to be. Then we're going to take the next one, and we're going to put it in, I don't know, yeah, no, it's the other side. Then we're going to put it on this side, in the same spot. If you have a good way of punching, I just do this. If you have a better way of punching, the punching is not important to me, it's just your protection is. So, take the tape. Now... Again, you can tape it to your vest, you can tape it to a rain jacket slicker, you can tape it to another plastic bag if you're covering your entire body in plastic bags. You take this thing, and yeah, put that one there. And now when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you have lots of mobility for your arm. Because Lots of move time for groove time. Feel me? People asked me one time why, Tracy, why do you want to talk, tell us about safety all the time because you're a crossing guard. What, why should I listen to you? And I said, well, when I was very young, I had a ferret. My ferret's name is Sabrina Goldstein. But I used to call my ferret Sabrina Goldstein. Roxanne for short. And 
one time. I didn't have very many friends. Um, but Roxanne was my friend. And when I was eight years old, I was sitting outside underneath the tree eating way too many sandwiches. And Roxanne got outside to the backyard and Roxanne ran outside into the street in front of my house. And there was nobody there. And then. I am. Um, heard her cry. Anyway, a car ran over her. She didn't die. I had to make a little fair wheelchair for her, but then she didn't like that very much, so that's why I became a parking guard. Maybe you put on your second bag. And you want to put on your second bag. And sometimes you'll find plastic bags smell like old hot dogs or burning cars. That's, don't be alarmed, that's just what the bags smell like. Now as you can see, this is starting to get over top the circumference of the body. And then we want to go... Yep. This is also good for quarantine because sometimes you can fold this over too so that it covers more of your arm. Now I have another arm pad. Punching bags is safer than punching walls. Just so you know. Also, sometimes I the tape there. Do you ever put the tape on your face and then you peel it off? And then you think to yourself that you don't see these hairs with your eyes and you feel them on the tape sort of weird. Okay. Next. You want to take this one. As you can see, my arms are almost covered. And now this one, I'm going to rip in half because it's for a small part of my body. Wait, I'm going to put the tape down first. And I'm going to rip it open and then what you're going to have here these are your power gloves people are buying so much latex gloves but plastic is just as effective as latex don't hear many people telling you that but I believe it to be true then you want to wrap it around you As if you broke your your arm and you were pretending that you broke it for people to be nice with you. Now you go. Now you're ready to go. And that's this one here. And then now if you know that you have a big party to go to soon and you're not sure if your dance suit is safe, I would suggest that you count how many plastic bags that you have. And I would make sure that you have six. And then this one I'm going to go around like that. And then I'm tying this up here. And now you can stick the green tape to your hand if you have a different kind of tape. As long as it's not made with glue, I think that should be fine. Now, last but not least, I wear glasses and I see much better than most people. So I actually have double vision, double trouble vision. And once I get this here, you can see everyone that's going to be near me outside and also in if it starts to rain or what this is really testing out is sneezing 
This is a sneeze proof suit. If somebody wants to come near me and sneezes on me, I'm not concerned. And if there's a song that is playing that is my favorite song, and I'm watching it on my computer, and there's somebody that I don't know that lives in my house, and maybe they're sneezing, I'm not going to stop dancing, not for nobody, not for no how. Because I'm a safety consultant, I'm going to take it the extra mile. I've already got the specs. Water's going to fall down. And now this is going to be my head cover. And this is going to be my mouth hole. Now you're ready to dance up a storm no matter what. Even if somebody goes by you and says, hey, stop. You're going to say, well, we tried to too. And then you know what you're going to do? You're going to keep on dancing. And what if somebody says, walks by you and goes, hey, shoo. <laughs> well, I'm just going to show you. Doesn't matter. This is 62% waterproof. So, what did we learn today? We learned plastic bags should be as good as latex. Get scissors, don't hold them upside down. And get the green tape, but other tape are fine too. And make sure that you're making other people safe by keeping your dance party dry. And the good thing about parties is that usually if you do them right, other people go. And if other people go to your parties, this is what they're going to say about you. When you bring this safe, To the streets. I could dance anywhere. I could dance outside. Where are you going to be dancing? People say about me. Look, doesn't bother me. <laughs> Don't care. You know what you care about though? It's grooving. Just remember, if it's not safe, it's probably just not worth it. See you in the streets. Oh, I've turned it off now? Okay.